Hi, Pete Moretti from Shooting Sports Magazine. Hands up, how many people like Browning's a -bolt? I do a bit, but it's got a bit of a problem. Clever little gun, nicely laid out. It's got the most ridiculous magazine system you could probably think of. It's got a box magazine stuck into a floor plate. So to change the mag, you pop the catch, the plate comes down, and you fill the mag from there. It's not about accuracy, it's not about ability, but the A-bolt has never really caught the British imagination, and I think it's mainly down to the magazine. Browning, who have been producing rifles for some time now, have come up with what I think is a really clever idea. It's the A-bolt 3, or AB3. Looks quite similar, but it's also quite different. The major difference is the rifle has a detachable magazine, four shot mag, so it's four plus one in the chamber, which is great. So it gets rid of all that bloody annoying floor plate magazine filling system. Plus, if you need to, you can fill it through the top of the action. Sometimes if you're shooting, you might want to top it up. The other thing about the ABOC 3 is it's what's known as in the, should we say budget class? That's not quite fair, but it's, it's a cheap rifle. Um, but when I say cheap, I mean cheap in the fact it's cheap to produce. And the end result is for you, the shooter and the hunter, this gun, obviously without a scope, without a moddy, comes out at 508 pounds retail, including VAT. It also comes with a pair of steel bases, which is bloody good money, it really is. Um, there's a trend in the last 10, 15 years, Remington started it, for budget type rifles. Remington do it with their 700, 710 series. Uh, Ruger with their Ruger American, um, even Seiko get, get on the app with their A9 um, and Savage. So basically it's for a gun for somebody who doesn't want to pay a lot of money but wants to get a rifle that puts a deer on the table. And this, believe you me, puts the deer on the table. So let's look at it. A-Bolt has the classic and some might say odd shaped bolt handle but it's nicely angled, nice and long. Probably 60 degree lift, so it's slip to move. The other great thing about the A-Bolt is it's got a tang safety, which is probably, in my, just my personal use, one of the best systems ever. Because you're up in the aim, and it's like, oh, there he is, flip, flip, and there's virtually no disturbance to the shooting position. The ABA also has a feature, it's nicked from the X-Bolt, and it's a bolt unlocking catch. So with the safety catch on, if you want to unload, you're in a slightly safer situation in terms of handling a, a chambered rifle. So all you do is press that catch there, lift up, out she comes. Um, the other thing about the gun is, obviously, the detachable magazine, forward located release catch. This gun is in 30 odd 6 and it's a 21 inch barrel, which is, I admit, a little bit short for 30 odd 6 but um, I think Browning did it with the UK market in mind because we like moderators. Um, they're also a 22 inch version of the 30 or 6 and also a 26, would you believe? Calibers come 243, 30 or 6, 308, 270 win, 7mm Grim Mag. Uh, so you're pretty much covered for the UK market. This rifle today is fitted with a Leopold scope um, and one of my favourite muzzle mounted moderators the Aimsonic Plus, which is uh, more for your 30 caliber type cartridges. The stock is all synthetic with a rubber recoil pad. Uh, it's pretty rigid, comes with QD swivels. Trigger surprisingly nice f for a factory type unit. Um, really, not a lot of complaints about this gun at all. This one is, say, is trained in 30 odd 6, one of my favorite big boomer calibers and I'm using what else but Winchester ammo because you've got to stay with the brand. Uh, this is a 150 grain ballistic silver tip, which is a ballistic tip, but the construction is slightly stronger. I use one of my 130 grain ballistic silver tip in my 270 win, and though 270 has a reputation for blowing things apart, um, it doesn't do it so badly with a ballistic silver tip. So, mag takes four. Put my ears on, and we'll just crack a few rounds off with it. Locks in, chamber, safety off. So, 
It's in 30 on 6, it's not a massive kicker, it's pretty comfortable, and I reckon this thing will take down any European deer and probably bore you require it to. And for £508, it's got to be the bargain for 2015. Anyway, I'll see you later with more gear.